In this video, we'll be demonstrating a carpal tunnel release using the mini open technique. This is a left hand, and the video will be zoomed in here in the palm where the incision is made. The skin incision is marked, and a pre existing crease is used for the incision. The skin incision is made with the scalpel. The first layer encountered is the subcutaneous fat. The subcutaneous fat is spread bluntly with dissection. Following that, the next layer is a thin, wispy, fibrous layer called the palmar fascia. This is either spread or divided. Retractors are placed to improve visualization. The palmar fascia must be divided and cleared off of the transverse carpal ligament before the carpal tunnel ligament can be released. Here is a small muscle called the palmaris brevis. It sits on top of the transverse carpal ligament and is usually divided as part of this surgery. Exposure starts at the end of the transverse carpal ligament, where the leading edge is divided. Here, the scissors are being used to separate in an area of fat where a large artery in the hand is typically found. This is now the leading edge of the transverse carpal ligament, which has been identified. The larger scissors are used to bluntly dissect and remove some of that wispy fibrous tissue overlying the heel of the hand. Here, a pocket is created underneath the skin, which will be used later in order to divide some of the last remaining tissue. The leading edge has been nicked, and now with the scalpel, we're gonna to continue to cut that transverse carpal ligament, which is the main ligament that causes carpal tunnel syndrome. The retractors are replaced, and the knife is then used to cut the tightest part of that ligament. Lastly, the retractors are replaced, and the larger scissors are used to create a pocket and then divide the last bit of tissue up into the forearm. We then use the tip of the scissors to bluntly feel that all of that tissue has been released. One final check is performed at the end of the ligament to ensure there are no bands. This fatty tissue holds that main artery of the hand, and we can see there's nothing constrictive. This right here is that thick transverse carpal ligament that was compressing the nerve and causing carpal tunnel syndrome, and now it is free and open.